All right, guys, here is a, um, a second option as well for the smash. Um, the, the, the same as the, the last technique where it's difficult to get the hook in, but, um, but it's okay because you can use the leg in a different manner as like a drive, driving tool um, to kind of redirect the, the pressure. So uh, let's do this one. So um, uh, let's just say I'm kind of, uh, I'm outside already and Vince has already just kind of smashed me. I'm gone. Okay, this is pretty much how um, everybody ends up most of the time that they want to try and lock their legs tight half guard or go inside and lock down. Um, either way, I'm just, uh, I want to follow the same protocol where I swim inside. Um, I'm not going to show my cards and um, telegraph or move them just waiting for this guy to make his move and I want to lock this up. And if I can't get to it or if I, I'm a little desperate, I'll let go. Um, I want to still control though with this bottom leg. So it's always in this like lock, half guard, and I want every time I let go, you've got to control the guy here or they're gone. So if I change from my lock down to just traditional figure four, half guard, I want to let go. I take a good bite with this leg. Um, I have this locked or I'm, I'm going to lock it. So um, I just kind of wrestler's bridge and then drive into him and then grab this and lock it up. This half guard keeps him from stepping over into mount. Okay? And then the same situation, I use this as a drive leg. He has no base because he's committed, committed to the lock. I roll him over, clear the leg. I want to step out and walk into my Jackknife cradle. Mm -hmm.